Hello and welcome to today's video. Uh, it's Friday today and it's the 29th of January. Today our LI is to um, add amounts of money. We've done a whole week on money so far and we're going to do a couple of days uh, next week as well. So today we're adding different amounts of money. Our first step is to add money using a pictorial method, which that means drawing it, okay? Step two, I can exchange one pound for a hundred P, okay? That's kind of linked to what we did yesterday when we um, counted up amounts of money um, and if it equaled a hundred P, it became one pound. Step three is chili challenge as usual for this week, um, answering problem solving questions on a separate sheet. If you want to pause the video here and write the LI, you can. First of all, it is my turn. So, for this question, we're using the part, part, whole model. I'm going to have a go. You can have a go along with me if you like, or you can just listen. Mo uses a part, whole model to add money. Okay. So, what's happening here is these are our two parts, and we add them together to get our whole. That's why it's called the part, whole model. I call it the part, part, whole model because there's two. But there might actually be more than, more than two. But here we've got two parts and one whole, okay? These two feed into this one. So therefore those two add together to get our total number. So what we need to do is we need to add the pounds and the pence up, add the pounds and the pence up, how much is that all together, okay? And then you need to use Mo's method to find the total of £10 and 35p, and four pounds and twenty-five p. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to add up first of all each part, okay, and then we're going to show it a slightly different way. So it's a little bit confusing, but I will talk you through it. So the first thing we're going to do is look at this part. We've got five pounds. And we have got 30p. Okay. In this one, we've got three pounds and we've got 50, 60, 70, 75p. Okay. So then what Mo is doing is he is adding all the pounds up and then he's adding all the pence up. So for this, for he's looking at both of the parts and he's adding up how many pounds are us. There's five pounds, six pounds, seven pounds, eight pound. There's eight pounds there and there's 105p because we've got the 30p and the 75p equals 105p. So remember, what does 105, we don't say 105p, do we? We say one pound and five Okay, 105p is the same as one pound and 5p because 100p is the same as a pound. So all together, so we need to work out what the top bit is, we're going to add up the eight pounds with the one pound 5p and that will equal nine pounds and 5p, okay? So the answer here, we're going to write it up here, nine pounds and remember we write zero 5p. So that will be our answer. Now for this one, you're going to use Mo's method to find the total of £10 and 35p, £4 and 25p. Okay, so that's our first one. So we're going to add the pounds up first. So we're going to add £10, add £4. Equals £14. That's not too hard, is it? And then we're going to add 35p, add 25p. And what does 35p add 25p? Because so I'd add the 30 and then I'd add the 10s and then I'd add the 1s. So we've got 50 and then we've got 5 add 5 is 10, so that will equal 60p. So then altogether we've got £14 and 60p. Okay? So our next one is going to be a little bit harder. Okay? So we've got £10. Um, and 65p and £9 and 45p. So we need to add the pounds up first. So we're going to do £10, add £9 equals £19. And then we've got 65p, add 
45p. And we've got to work out what that is. So I know that 6 add 4 equals 10, so I know that 60 add 40 equals 100. So 100 add 5 add 5 is 110p. Okay. So this is a little bit trickier, isn't it? Because we don't need 110p. That we can exchange that for a pound. Okay. So 110p becomes. Let me pop it underneath. 110p becomes one pound and ten p. Okay. So then we need to add up our pounds and our pounds here. So 19 pounds add 1 pound and 10 p will be 20 pounds and 10 p. That one is a lot harder. Right, now it's our turn. What calculation does the bar model show? So you need to find the total amount of money. Okay, so we've got amount here and we've got an amount here and I want to know what the total amount is. Pause the video here and have a go. So, you should have paused the video, okay, and I'm going to show you how we're going to work this out. So we've got £2.35 here. So I'm going to put the £2 here, and I'm going to put the 35p here. So put the I'm going to put the pennies on one side, and the pounds on the other side. That's how it works in my brain. So, we've got to do this one because it's a little bit harder. So we've got £1.50, £60.75, so we've got £1.75, so we're going to put £1 here, our pound, and then we're going to put 75 there. So first things first, easy bit, add up the pounds. Two pound, add one pound, is three pounds. Now we need to do 35p add 75p. So I know that 30 add 70 is 100. Okay, so we've got 100p, and I know 5 add 5 equals 10. So the answer is going to be... 110p. Now our work is not done because we've still got to convert our 110p into our pounds. 110p is going to be one pound and 10p. So then we need to add our three pounds and our one pound and 10p and if we add those together we get four pounds and 10p and that's our answer and that's going to go at the top. Okay? Let's try our last R turn and then it will be your turn. So we've got a word problem here. Word problems always make things a little bit more difficult. A book costs £5.99. and p. A magazine costs £1.75p. How much does the book and magazine cost all together? So remember that word all together, it means that we're going to be adding, okay? Because if it's a total, it's add. So £5.99. £5 there, 99p there, 99 p there one pound there, and 75p there, okay? So we're going to add the 5 and the one pound first, that's easy. £5 add one pound is £6, and then we're going to do 99p add 75p. Now this is a trick. 99p is very, very, very close to 100p, isn't it? It's actually just one less. So I'm going to pretend that's 100p and add 75. That would be 175p, wouldn't it? Easy. And just take away the 1, um, because it's 99p, not 100. So that would be 174p. So your work is not done, because you need to convert that into pounds. Okay. If you can work out what the answer might be, you would need to add the two pounds together. Six pound add one pound seventy four. That would equal seven pounds seventy four B. So the answer is £7.74p. and Right, now it's your turn. So if you want to do the mild challenge, you need to complete questions 1 to 4 of your worksheet. If you want to do the medium challenge, you need to complete your whole worksheet, please. 
And if you want to do your hot challenge, you need to complete your chili challenge worksheet, which is problem solving. Take a picture or get a grown-up to take a picture of your answers or pop your answers on your um, portfolio. And then we will mark them. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.